Have you ever wanted to display a sentence and get students to correct it? You write it up on a board and cross out bits and write the corrections. It's an easy one off for any teacher to do on the fly, but if you are planning it for a future class or you might want to use it again then it makes sense to do it as an interactive ICT presentation. The beauty of this is that it works really well on an e-whiteboard and also just a plain projector. You can even distribute it around a computer lab. All that you need is Microsoft Word in the target sentences you want to practice with. Okay, we should look at how this can be done in Microsoft Word. This is the sentence that I want to fix. If I hover my mouse over the word this, a box appears. I can click on the drop-down arrow and choose the correct version of the word. Next I can see that a full stop is needed to break up this sentence. Clicking on the word, lets me choose an option with a full stop. You can have as many mistakes or variations as you want. Next we will look at how to make the drop-down boxes. You need to have the Developer tab displayed on the task ribbon. If you don't have the Developer tab showing, you can select it from the Word Options menu. Tick the Show Developer tab in Ribbon box. Then click OK. Now you can select the Developer tab. On the Developer tab we need to select the drop-down list control. This will place the list box at the cursor. Next we click on the Properties icon in the ribbon, ignoring the title and tag boxes. Instead just click the Add button. Then, in the Display Name field, type the incorrect word that you want. Then OK. Next, click the Add button, again, and type the correct version you want, followed by OK. You could add more options if you wanted. Now click on the Choose an item entry and click Remove. We don't want that in a way. Click OK to exit the control. Although we removed the Choose an item option, it still shows for the moment until we select a new starting word. So click the down triangle and select the incorrect word. Then click outside that box. And you can type more of your sentence. Let's make the sentence end at the word it. Highlight the word it, then select the drop down box control tool, and properties. Click it and enter it in the field by itself. Then add it with a full stop. Remove the choose an item. Close the control with OK, then select the incorrect option. We can do the same to make the word can become capitalized. Remember, Use the drop down box control tool. Select Properties and Add your variations. Don't forget to remove the choose item option. And finally, we put a question mark at the end of the sentence. Again we could have a few options for the students to choose from, such as with a full stop and with a question mark. As a variation, you could also use this method to make multi-choice test questions. There are lots of possibilities. Enjoy playing with it.